Hey guys, Deeper Colin here, back at it with another video. Today, I bring you another one. We are going to do, we are going to be doing another weekly story. This one's going to be about Edmund Kemper's matric matricidal tendencies. Fair warning, I may some, I may, I may say some of these things wrong, and I but I really don't care. I just want to do this so I can go to bed. Because I do this right before I go to bed. I'm doing it for you guys. Hey. Why is my hair just hanging into here? It's like. Cur why? Curl. Oh, it's apparently falling out too. Okay. On with the story. <laughs> Part one. I just wanted to see what it felt like to go, Grandma. We're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> Carnell Kemper had been abusive towards Carnell? It's I think they might have said her name wrong. This is her son. Um I don't know. I'm just reading what's on this, so I honestly don't know. Carnell Kemper had been abusive towards her son since he was a child. She locked Edmund Kemper in the basement, mocking his imposing size. He, he'd grow to six feet four as a teenager and told him no one would ever love him. The young Kemper eventually ran away to his estranged father, who sent him to live with his maternal grandparents. His decision would prove deadly. By the time he was 15, Kemper was projecting his anger towards, toward his mother onto his grandmother, Maud. On August 27th, 1964, he grabbed a hunting rifle and shot her in the kitchen. Afterward, he shot his grandfather in the driveway. Kemper subsequently received a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia and was sentenced to Atas. Gadero State Hospital. He was released six years later into his mother's care. You already know. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> See, am I gonna tear it? Tear it slowly? Nope. It's like jagged. I like it when I get it like when I have it all smooth. It, I don't know why. It's probably because I'm weird. <laughs> But yeah, you'll have to tune in next time for part two to see what happens. Hey. Um, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and funkiness. And some funkiness too. <laughs> Bye guys.